ladies. Today I'm here talking to you about the True Shine system. So the True Shine gel system, which you've probably read on posts of mine that I often use over top of my wraps to give them extra life and durability. Um, so here's my newest wrap, which I really like. I wasn't sure. I actually gave half a sheet away because I didn't think I was going to like it. But it's like a black tipped French tipped Manny and I really like it. Anyways, this is my newest Manny and today I'm going to put the True Shine over top of it so that I can hopefully, well, it will make it last longer, but the reality is I'll probably take them off before I need to, but that's okay. Um, with the True Shine system, you, you need the base top coat and the top coat for it to work. Otherwise, it won't, it won't last. It'll, it'll come off. So you need the base coat, the top coat, and the lamp. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much all you need. If you're using, I'm using a rubbing alcohol wipe just to prep my nails over top of my wraps. Um, if you're using a colored gel, a True Shine colored gel, in between those, the base and the top coat, when you remove it, you're going to need to use um, an acetone remover. So there's actually, we sell um, little packets, packet removers that are basically like tin foil with an, a strong acetone inside that sits on the on top of your nail and you leave it on there and then you can basically peel off the gel safely without harming your nail. So when I use the base and top coat over top of my wraps, I just remove my wraps as I normally would um, afterwards. So I carefully work the orange stick around the edge and then work my remover underneath and they peel off no problem. Because really the top and the base coat are basically hitting the edges of your nail and just underneath. So I'll show you how that works. Okay, so here's how the system works. You take the top coat or the base coat here, you're going to shake it up really well. Actually, I'm going to shake both up. Shake it, shake it, shake it. And this is a pretty quick process. All right, I'm gonna move my lamp out of the way for now. I'm gonna shake it up and I am going to do all of my fingers first. So I'm gonna apply the gel, thin coats. Close to the edge as you can go. Now, ideally, you're going to kind of come at it this way and pull back a bit so that it catches under your nail. So a little bit gets under your nail. I still kind of go in your typical polish application method at first and then go down to my tips. I'm hoping you can see what I'm doing. Spin it out. Okay. And you're just making sure that you're catching your naked nail along the edge. and uh, the, the base, the back of your cuticle. If you're applying the color coat in between um, the base and the top, you may have to, you usually need to apply a couple coats and you wanna make sure they're really thin or it will streak or it can streak. All right, you can kind of see it there. All right, I'm gonna leave my thumb for now. Before I go on to my next hand, I'm actually gonna go back with my orange stick and make sure I get off anything that's on my skin because it will harden. Once it goes under the lamp, the curing lamp, it hardens and I don't really want chunks of gel stuck on my skin if I can avoid it. So, I mean, it often happens, it's not the end of the world. But I need no excuse to pick up my nail beds. So I do that anyways. I'm just wiping the tip on the alcohol swab here. Oh, I'm 
my children are in the living room while I do this, so I'm going to try to go quickly. It's not alcohol you drink, Ro. It's alcohol on a swab. Okay. So I've cleaned up that hand. And what I'm going to do, actually, I'm just going to do my one hand so that you get the gist and you don't have to sit through me doing them all. But you can see how that was pretty quick. Now, I've got the base coat on this hand, actually. Let me do my thumb. So normally what I would do is I would do um, all of my fingers before curing anything. Although you can do it however it works for you. The, the point is you just have to make sure you don't miss any steps. So you're going to get into the rhythm that works for you. You're learning a little bit about Roblox while I do my nails. Okay. All right. So the lamp goes on and it automatically turns off. So I'm slipping. I should have put my fingers in first. Put my fingers in, turn on the lamp, and it's 45 seconds that the lamp is on for. So we let those cure. And then with my base coat, I actually add an extra 10 seconds to the curing. just to be safe. <laughs> I hope you guys have some fun plans for Saturday. I'm going to a wedding tonight, which will be fun. I'm excited oh, yes, for that. Okay, so that's done and I'm going to do another 10 seconds. Okay, all right. Now, I would then be putting my second hand in normally. Um, and then once that the hand is done, you do, I do my thumbs. So to do your thumbs, you can actually do them at the same time. Kind of put two thumbs in at once. However it works for you, you can lay it here. I find that really awkward, so I actually, I do do it this way. I don't have to put that one in, I forgot. All right. So once the base coat is on, you don't wipe your nails in between coats. So as soon as this is done, I'm going to work on my top coat. But it's a pretty quick process. Mm. The systems, uh, there's the True Shine bundle, which is the lamp, the base coat, and the top coat, and that's $90 Canadian. <clears throat> there's also the True Shine um, gel enamel system, which is a bigger kit, and it comes with some application tools, a the cuticle oil which is amazing and I really should be using every day and I don't um one colored gel it's like a, a dark cherry um the base coat top coat and the box of remo remover packets as well and it's $150 so it's a really good deal the base and the top coat alone are $25 a bottle seems like a lot or might seem like a lot but they last forever you use very little and a friend of mine said she was using hers weekly pretty much what everyone one to two weeks just because she likes to change them often um and was it was a year had gone by and she still had a lot quite a bit left in her in her bottle so it lasts a long long time okay so base coat's done and i move on to the top coat and it's the same thing the only difference is it comes, it's really thick, so you really don't need a lot. Try to clean off your brush so you don't get it all goopy. Uh, same thing, you just, at the end, when I go to cure this, I'm going to only do it for the 45 seconds that the lamp, when the lamp shuts off, I am done.
it is quite thick it's supposed to be thick so if you're thinking oh this is really like goopy oops it should be And it also gives, if you've got a matte um, wrap, uh, it's an, it gives you a nice glossy finish. That being said, there's also a matte finish top coat. So if you do want it to be matte finish, that's an option as well. You could purchase that top coat. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do my thumb. Oh dear. Okay, so top coat's on. I'm going to go over it with my orange stick again just to make sure. Oh, I just touched that one, so I'm going to fix it. Oh, jeez. Pulling a bit off because that was a bit overkill. All right, quickly go over these. Um, you can also purchase the items individually. I don't know the prices offhand, but like I mentioned, the top coat and the base coat are twenty-five dollars a bottle. The curing lamp is, I want to say, fifty-six dollars on its own. Um, and the gel remover packets, $15 maybe for a box of 50. I'd have to double check that price though. And the base and top coat were out of stock for a while, but we are, everything is running smoothly again. So thanks to everybody for their patience with the last couple months when they had to transition over to the new ownership. Um, everything, the shipping is quick. I had an order here within six days, five days, six days. Um, so things are moving along quickly and everything's getting back in stock. It's wonderful. All right, so I'm gonna put my nails in here. Again, one full stint of 45 seconds. And then my thumb. So really the whole process, I don't know, it's pretty quick. Could calculate it, but that would be too much work for Saturday morning when I haven't finished my coffee yet. But I feel like it adds about 10 minutes to my... Speaking of coffee, can we get two more today? Uh, maybe it adds 15 minutes to my whole process. We'll see. What, what, what are the two yellow letters that make you... I'm looking at the time of this video and realizing it says 13 minutes and 46 seconds, so clearly... It takes about 15 minutes. Well, more than that because I'm adding my other hand on. I'd say 15 minutes because I've been babbling a lot and I'm distracted. <laughs> I feel like I should have music playing in the background to entertain you. So again, you would do your two thumbs together though. Or you could do it the way I'm doing it and that works too. And then just do your other hand. Okay, so base coat has been applied, top coat has been applied, and now all that's left is for me to wipe them off. So you give them a little wipe using, I use an alcohol swab or a cotton ball with rubbing alcohol on it. I don't even think you have to use, oh yeah, you do. You should use an alcohol wipe after or some rubbing alcohol. And then that's it. I wash my hands before I apply them, but before I start the application process, just like I do for my wraps. And then that, my friends, is that. And I wish if I move out of the picture, you might see them better. It gives them a really nice gloss. 
and some extra durability. So if you have issues with your tips coming up um, or the back, it's worth giving the True Shine a shot. I am happy to lend out my system. It's going out this weekend for a couple weeks, um, but I will have it back, I would say, after the weekend of the 18th. I will have it back, so if somebody else wants to purchase or purchase, borrow it, let me know, um, and I will happily lend it to you so you can see for yourself. All right? If you have any questions, let me know, but that is all. Thanks, ladies.